Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, emotional, mental health related paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. We do that for your listening pleasure and to bring about conversations that allow us to make um, your life a little bit easier. At least that's the goal. Hopefully that is a goal that we attain more often than not. In any event... Uh, we try to continue to do that on a consistent basis. My schedule is sometimes kind of chaotic, so sometimes that doesn't go exactly the way I planned. We get over 1,300 of these in the listening archive, so for your listening pleasure, we can make things happen in a good way for your benefit. So uh, hopefully that is helpful and leads you in a positive direction here. Uh, the next thing we're looking at there is... Um, it, it, you know, if you're looking for coaching, please feel free to reach out. Um, signs that someone may be hiding their depression is the concept of today. Uh, so we'll kind of look at that and see if there's things we can kind of divine from that. People will often use humor in an attempt to hide the fact they're depressed. Look, people with darker humors are usually in the most pain. And so some of the most sad people, some of the most depressed people are actually quite funny because they're willing to say the things in a sense of humor that other people aren't comfortable saying or wouldn't say or they just, you know, their ability to censor themselves or to agree with uh, some of the harsh ways that people treat others. Uh, are, they're just things they don't want to deal with. The next thing is these people tend to isolate themselves for a variety of reasons, not limited to the fact that at the end of the day, they don't really think that um, things can go the way they want them to go when they're around a lot of people. And the more people they're around, the more burnt out they begin to feel. So the burnout level is something that ultimately, you know, is something that the average person doesn't want to deal with. So that level of burnout is, is often a challenge in and of itself. Um, when a person feels constantly burnt out or when a person feels like they're never going to get ahead, that can lead to a whole lot of challenges in that way. And then we begin to kind of look at things in a new perspective or from a new perspective. Um, the chances of getting into emotional or mental or psychological addictions can also be a challenge for a number of reasons. That leads to... Um, you know, struggles as it relates to how we relate with others and what what happens next when it comes to addiction. Um, addiction is also a pattern, so it actually changes brain chemistry, and then the change in brain chemistry makes us get, get more frustrated with ourselves. Self-anger and taking anger out on others is another sign of those challenges, and so it doesn't necessarily mean that, that one person is a bad person, but it's it's challenging. Uh, because people often feel like they are constantly struggling to feel in control of their own lives. And when a person feels they're not in control of their own life, they're going to beat themselves up a little harder than they normally would and then can be beneficial or helpful for them to do. Obviously, beating oneself up emotionally isn't something we want to do, but the, the habit of doing it leads or comes from that need to hide depression. The anger that they're feeling is more about their inability to change the way they feel. And the rapid cycle that comes with that inability is also a super big struggle for many people for a variety of, often a long time, because these individuals constantly feel like they are struggling to just feel what they consider to be some semblance of normal or comfortable or better and so when their emotional state doesn't change as often or as as consistently as they would like into something that's more manageable then then having that uh, ability to balance all of that can become super painful and not so friendly so giving oneself permission to be a little softer uh, on ourselves is also important and beginning to know how to do that is an important factor in making decisions about how to get the most out of high quality of life and uh, making decisions about how to maximize life, minimize stress, and get more out of daily living. So that can be uh, challenging upon occasion as well. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.